situation. You're not going to make laws for just one situation, and that one situation is the World Cup. You not make laws to protect one organization. You don't do that. The demands help guarantee FIFA's financial return, more than three billion dollars from the last World Cup. Most startling of all, FIFA's demands on tax. They want to create their own tax haven, a full exempt situation. It is FIFA and its FIFA subsidiaries that are fully exempt from any tax whatsoever levied at whatever level, state level, municipality level, all sorts of taxes, consumption taxes, income taxes, you name it, it's all exempt. There are also tax breaks for FIFA's official sponsors. The Dutch have calculated that if they win the bid, FIFA's tax demands could amount to 300 million euros. FIFA says the guarantees are reasonable. They are a not-for-profit organization which funds the development of football and that the FIFA World Cup is FIFA's only source of income. FIFA wants all bidders to sign up to its demands. The Dutch watered some of them down and got a very stiff letter from FIFA. They were putting their hopes of hosting the World Cup in jeopardy. <laughs> In the UK, even Parliament hasn't seen the guarantees. One senior parliamentarian wanted to know about the FIFA tax breaks, but was told the guarantees were confidential. So we showed him the ones published in Holland. Now you've seen the guarantees, what do you think of them? It is just indefensible. I mean, that's the word for it. It is indefensible, and it's an insult to taxpayers in this country. These are demands. You sign up here or otherwise your bid will be likely to be regarded as deficient. They have the audacity to uh, seek to instruct the Parliament that they'll dance to the FIFA tune. Some people see the guarantees as being onerous. My view was that um, the benefits uh, to having the competition far out where the disbenefits. The government guarantees that FIFA demanded are similar to what other international bodies do in terms of the Olympics, uh, other international competitions that we wanted to host. And it's important that we sign up to these guarantees on the basis of the bid being able to be successful. The British government signed the guarantees. They're in the bid book. But we understand that they have raised concerns with FIFA about their demands on tax, visas, security and labour laws. We present you with uh, our bid book for 2018. The hope is that if we get the tournament, we can renegotiate. I wonder what Seth Blatter will make of that. I understand why people want the World Cup. We invented football. Why shouldn't we have the World Cup finals? But I can't help feeling it would be a better role for England to actually be insisting on the reform of FIFA, making FIFA transparent, making FIFA accountable. With only three days left before the vote, Will President Sepp Blatter take action against the three men we've shown to have taken bribes? It seems unlikely. We've been told President Blatter has known about one ISL bribe for 13 years and has done nothing. This is former FIFA President Jao Havelange. Four years ago, I reported how a huge payment intended for him had ended up in FIFA's bank account by mistake. Witnesses said there was panic when a bank statement listing the payment landed on the desk of then FIFA General Secretary Sepp Blatter. I'm told you ordered this bribe should be moved to the man whose name was on the payment. Can you tell me who it went to? Was it President, President Havelange? We've never been given an answer. But does it lie in our secret list of payments? One entry stands out. Guarantee JH, Jao Havelange's initials, next to a payment of one and a half million Swiss francs, a million dollars. We wrote to both honorary FIFA president Havelange and Sepp Blatter about this bribe. Mr Havelange didn't respond, 
and Mr. Blatter again referred us to the 2008 court case in Zug. But if FIFA won't reveal the truth, isn't it high time the politicians force them? Andrew, we are not speaking about sports, you speak about corruption. And politics can't be kept out of that. After decades of corruption, we need now an external, an international, and an independent investigation into the FIFA books. Far more important than anything else in world football is to get a FIFA that is clean and fit for purpose. We don't have that at the moment. Andrew Jennings reporting there. And as we heard, the Prime Minister and the England 2018 bid team are due to lobby FIFA's executive committee members in Zurich tomorrow. Now, the bid team has already written to the committee members expressing solidarity with them. We'll find out in three days' time if England has won the bid.